Welcome to the Baker Lab help desk for Hoboware Pro. This is the software that you need to run the Hobo U12s. We have versions for both uh, Mac OS and Windows XP. Uh, as of right now, uh, February 2009, we are unable to get the uh, Hoboware to work on Windows Vista. Unlike Boxcar, the installation is pretty much self-explanatory. Insert the CD and click Next until you... So I'm not going to go through that here. This is your basic function screen when you open up Hoboware. First plug in your data logger and then choose Launch Device. It will automatically detect if you have uh, anything connected yet. See, it's found my U12. And this is the user face for your hobo. It has everything that you need to launch it. First choose a name that's relevant to your project. And you may want to uh, either number your hobo or choose different names if you're launching more than one. So you can keep track of which one is which. These boxes here choose which of the available channels your hobo data logger is uh, tracking. If your study is only using, say for instance, the temperature reading, you may want to leave the other boxes checked and uh, continue taking data for those uh, data sets. You might find something that's interesting or another direction for your study to take. Next, choose your logging interval. This can be anywhere from several hours all the way down to half a second. I'm going to choose mine to log every five seconds. This readout here tells you how long your logger can continue to take data if you have this logging interval. So right now I, this can log for 82 days, six hours before the internal memory on the logger is filled up. One thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is the battery level. Your battery level will probably last as long as you're taking your study, even if it's getting on the lower side of a meter. So um, you're probably safe if you're just working for a couple of days. If it's very low in the red, you may start getting skewed readings and it might even shut off during your study. So you want to return it to Baker and trade you for a different one. This box here allows you to choose uh, when you launch your data logger. You want to pick uh, the delayed start if you are launching multiple loggers. This is important because if you're launching multiple data loggers, you want them to start at exactly the same time. And so when you're launching them um, in order from your computer, if you choose this option, you will get uh, data sets that start at different times, even if they have the same interval. So if you choose the delayed start at an exact time, your data sets will all line up and it will make your charts a lot easier to work with and a lot easier to find correlations between your data. One last option you have is on the U12s, there's a small black button on the front underneath the light. And you can push that and it will automatically start uh, logging from whenever you hit that button. You can try launching multiple ones by pushing that button and trying to get them to line up. You might get them close, but it's probably better to use the delayed start if you're using more than one. So I'm going to click the launch button. and you're ready to go. So, when you're done collecting data, plug your hobo back in and click the readout button. Once again, it will find it on your port and prompt you for a place to save it.
Now here you can choose uh, what you get to see on the printout graph. It might be useful first to just pick the units that you're most interested in seeing. I'm going to choose just temperature and relative humidity for the moment. And choose your units and so forth. Uh, this will also give a printout on your chart um, of all these different times when your logger started or stopped taking data. And you can turn those off if you want. They're not super useful. Okay, so here's your basic printout chart. Um, it can look uh, really confusing at first if you have uh, multiple sets of data. Right now it's not too bad because I only have two. Everything is editable when you double click on it. Um, you can change the uh, description. If I want to call this uh, Baker Lab, relative humidity, I can do so. Um, or change uh, what it's labeled for the units. You can also choose how you display your data points and if they're connected with lines or not. Pretty much every unit and axis on this chart is editable. That can be really useful. Uh, for example, if you want to move this axis, so relative humidity, uh, over to the other side of the chart. Uh, it's just organizational tools. And this one, if you double click in the main part of the chart, will give you the overall properties. Basic navigation tools in here are very similar to a lot of other Microsoft Word programs. You have the hand for um, dragging your chart around and selecting which part you want to look at. You have the zoom in and zoom out tools. Um, you also have the select crosshair tool, which will allow you to, if you want to click on this point, uh, it will allow you to select a specific part of the chart. And you can see also right now that I've got the fourth data point selected and it's brought it up on this little table. Okay, here is the fourth data point. Here's when it was collected. Here's what temperature it was. Another useful tool is the data subset tool. This will allow you to click and drag from any point on time to another point and select just those data points within. And you can see as I've done that over here, it's brought up this little sub box and it will give you all these different readouts of, okay, here's when that time starts and ends. Um, here is the minimum and maximum values during that duration. This is especially useful uh, when you're launching your hobos and you're handling them or moving them around after you've launched them. So if you've started taking your uh, data points and then you place your hobos up, remember that, for instance, your uh, heat of your hands or um, if you're covering the light sensor will change that data. So this tool is really handy for just selecting what's useful for your project. Up here are some basic toggles, whether you have data points on and off for your sets and how your graph lines are set up. You turn them on and off. And the other important part of this is uh, the export feature. If you click on this button right here, you'll be able to export a Excel chart. And you most of the time you're going to want to export a single file with all of your data sets in it. However, if you want to break it up uh, into intervals, say of like five or six data points each, you can choose this. This might be useful if, say, uh, you have a really long set of data and you want to break it down for analyzing minute by minute. And I'm going to 
going to save this. And now that's on my desktop and I can open it up. And this is useful if you want to manipulate your data in some way or if you need to uh, create a different type of chart than Hoboware Pro allows you to make. Alright, uh, now you know pretty much everything that you need to know to work with your hobos. Um, if you get stuck, you can check out the Hoboware Help under the Help menu or uh, come visit us in Baker Lab during our office hours and we'll be happy to help.